election commitment 2024. Many Iowans are just days away from casting their ballots on election day. Polls open Tuesday morning. And a lot of folks probably happy to see all the political ads yeah. finally come to an end. <laughs> Candidates have spent a lot of money on them. A whole lot yeah. of money. Millions of dollars, in fact, have been spent in central Iowa's state house races alone. KCCI chief political reporter Amanda Rooker shows us the biggest spenders here. Amanda. A lot of money, Stacey and Ben. This year, there's been nearly $5 million spent just on TV ads for state house races in central Iowa, and that doesn't even include radio or digital ads or mailers. Now, we're looking at data from Ad Impact that tracks ad spending. And we're looking at it starting from January all the way through today. Most of this money is coming from state parties on behalf of the candidates. Now, the most money overall that's been spent has been on Republican Brad Zahn at about $650,000. Zahn is running for re-election in Iowa Senate District 22, one of the most competitive state Senate races this year. His opponent, Democrat Matt Blake, has spent nearly $450,000 on TV ads. The next top spenders are Republicans trying to unseat incumbent Democrats in the state Senate. In District 20, Republican Mike Pike has spent about $430,000, and in District 14, State Senate District 14, Republican Mark Hansen has spent roughly 420,000. Now here are their challengers. Hansen, who's running against or Hansen is running against Democratic State Senator Sarah Trong Garriott in District 14. She's spent about $380,000 on TV ads. Pike's opponent, incumbent Democrat Nate Bolton, has spent roughly $370,000. That is a lot of money in these races. Right now, Republicans have control of both the Iowa House and Senate, and they're putting a lot of resources towards defending those majorities. But KCCI political analyst Dennis Goldford says Democrats are also spending a lot this year. They're hoping to gain some ground. The partisan division in both houses of the Iowa legislature is overwhelmingly Republican right now. It's, it's not close. I think Democrats want to try to dig themselves out of the hole they're in politically in both chambers. And there are some other state house candidates that have spent a lot of money this year. Here's a look at an expensive race in the Marshalltown area. Republican David Blom has spent nearly $340,000 to try to flip Iowa House seat 52. Right now that's held by Democrat Sue Cahill. You can see there she spent about 290,000 on ads. Another expensive race, Republican incumbent Bill Gustoff in the House House District 40. He's spent nearly $340,000 defending his seat. His opponent, Democratic challenger Heather Seavers, has spent more than 230000 on TV ads. Again, want to mention some a lot of that money also comes from the state parties, not just the candidates themselves.